starting off with P. Louise Brabham. If you hear stuff in the background, tough, um, that's just life. Um, I was going to have music on, but I just can't be bothered with the music and all that jazz because it just stresses me out. Um, but yeah, that's the brow balm. Don't have to activate it. Could Adam Ashman 10 for 10% off. Um, but like, look, instant results. And yeah, you can shape them however you want. And then you can go in with the um, the brow pen or a pencil to fill them in. Um, but I'm not going to. I kind of like them, kind of how they are. So yeah. Stage one. Use base shade three rather than two or two point five. Um, you'll see why. But I like to do this when I'm doing like a neutral look, just because it helps the browns like blend in better. Um, so yeah, you'll see why. I'm just gonna use it on a um, devoted to my base brush. Um, just to like kind of quickly carve this out. I'm just taking a fluffy brush and just um, blending it all in. I'm really dry and scabby, it's disgusting. Um, but yeah, just making sure everything's blended and then just like kind of patting it. Um, just until it's like, just until there's hardly any shine left, basically. Okay, I'm gonna take the shade, I think, um, problematic. I think, whatever. Taking that on a Mimima Mitchell brush. I'm literally just gonna start like, kind of like, Stamping and swearing at the same time, um, and just get like the pigment, like look at that pigment already. Damn, damn. But the reason why I used base shade three instead of like two or whatever is just because the turn of the three just really helps blend in the brown shades so much easier. It's just a lot less. I don't want to say hassle, but it's just it just takes some of the work out for you. So I'm gonna take the shade News Flash. Where's it gone? Which is this one here, um, and then probably the shade Filter. Um, we'll see, we'll see. Um, but just taking that News Flash shade, and I'm taking it on like a fluffier brush. I'm literally just gonna start lightly blending this fair shade out um just like 50 percent on 50 percent off and i'm keeping it very very rounded i'm not going to bring it too much out here or i'm going to try not to anyway um but yeah just kind of like keeping it really really rounded if that makes sense um and then I'm going to go into the next shade, which is a filter, same brush. Zoom you in a bit so you can see. Um, but I'm going to take that filter shade and kind of like bring it inwards through here. Um, it's going to be very smirky and gold, this look. Um, I'm do I think I might do like a cream, um, like a cream shade through my crease kind of thing, but I'm not sure yet. Um, I'm not 100%, but yeah, just bringing that all the way through here, just to try and make it really like smirky. And then I'm going to go back in with the first shade. I'm just going to go back in with that first shade and just bring it a little bit higher up. And like kind of bring it in the crease a little bit more as well. Like so, and then I'm gonna take. I'm gonna go in with the shade News Flash and just kind of like get that color back through there. Okay, so from this point, you can go pre pretty much do whatever you want. Um, I was gonna cut my crease, but I kind of want to keep it really soft. Um, so you could go in with any of these, which are like kind of like gold with a bit of reds. Um, I'm going to go in with a bit of Gatsby, I think, and have a little bit of red in my waterline. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go in with Gatsby. And I'm going to take, where's my brush gone? Where's my brush? Has anyone seen my brush? Oh, so yeah. I'm just going to take like a fluffy brush like that and like just dip it in. 
And because I've already got Pee Louise base there, it should just... Oh, I might actually smooth it out, actually. Let me smooth it out first. Okay, so I'm just stamping it in really softly. And you can see how well it's sticking, and that's because of the Pee Louise base. And I'm going to kind of bring it up right into the brow burn, whatever's left on my brush, not too much. Just so you kind of like get a gradient effect. And you can kind of like bring it however you want. Oh, that's stunning. Taking the brush that I used, that dark shade on, I'm kind of just going to wiggle it in. Just so it blends into each other and you get like a really nice gradient effect. going to take like a brush like this and with the first shape that I used I'm just going to lightly go right along the lash line so we get like a a nice like kind of gradient effect okay so at this point you can just blend in the bottom lash line, put some lashes on and do the rest of your makeup and you're good to go. Or you can put a neon pink in the inner corner and blend it out. That's going to look beautiful. Um, a pink shimmer would go really nice in there. I think I want to go like kind of like a bit of dark grungy. Um, so I'm thinking of putting some of this Phoenix pigment by Peaches and Cream right in the inner corner and kind of like blending it in a bit. I'm going to like having a bit of like like grunge maybe I think I'm just gonna try it and see what happens okay I kind of don't like it but I'm gonna carry on just because um but I'm gonna take some of the base and just put it in my waterline sorry if this freaks anyone out and the good thing about this is you can literally leave it like that and it'll look really nice and cute. But I'm going to take this P. Louise palette and I think I'm going to go in with the shade Queen, which is that bright red shade. I do have a red um, paint, which would have been easy, like a lot easier, but I just want to go, I just want to use this shade. Obviously, if you use like a white, a white colour, it'll... Right, I've just cleaned up the bottom half. I'm just going in with some more base. Um, same shade. Um, and we're going to do the bottom line. Bottom eye. I'm literally just going to do the same three colours that I did here on the lower part. Um, so I'll show you it when I've done it. I'll show you now because... I'm only going to do the colours on the right at the outer edge and then use like a lighter colour for the, I want like a vampire look. I feel like that's what I'm going for, like a nice vampire look. So I kind of wish I got like blocked my eyebrow out now. Okay, that's what we're looking like. Um, for this inner part here, I'm going to use the shade Rumour. Um, Maybe the lighter shade, I don't know, but for now, I'm just going to use the shade Rumour and see what happens, just to like kind of set the concealer. Um, I might put a little bit of a white shimmer there. Um, that's cute. Put a teeny tiny bit of the shade Exclusive. It's kind of like a white shimmer. I'm going to put it like the tiniest amount here. I might regret this, but we'll see. Like it just like real subtle. I kind of like that it's better to be fair. Let's go back in my room eh? That'll do. Right, lashes. Okie dokie. So, the lashes that I've used 
are by Kitty Lash. Um, they're literally my favourite brand for lashes. Um, I need to order some more to be fair, but I've been so poor. Um, but look how it just like makes your eye like a cat eye. I can't remember the name of this style by the way. Um, but then I've just cut up a little bit of a different lash and I'm gonna put it like there just to like make it look something extra. I don't know, yeah. I might leave it like this because it does look really nice and glam, but I'm not sure, so yeah. You know what I really wanna do as well? Oh, I, I just know that it'll probably get loads of like hate, but I wanna put the lash there. Like how sick would that be? I might do it just to see what it looks like. Imagine it. Oh my God, that looks so good. I think I'm gonna do it. Like I know I wanna do natural glam, but you know what I mean, vampire. All right guys, we're taking it where it's not supposed to go now. Um, so if you want natural and glam, don't add this lash, but I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like a vampire. This always happens. Whenever I don't plan a look, like I had a real nice, beautiful, natural, like glam eye in man, and now it's just turning into like a vampire glam. Like I, I can't do natural, I have to take it fair bit and I've been wanting to put a lash there for ages and I'm, I'm just gonna keep it there because I really like how it's turning out so I'm gonna stop posting now go do the other eye and the rest of my makeup and wait for the picture because vampire yes